So as the SJWs continue, sorry, sorry, as the NPCs continue to try and pollute Japanese creations and creators with their own warped ideology, something that you hear a lot, uh, you know, kind of like a hopeful mantra, is that Japan has absolutely no fucks to give when it comes to Western sensibilities. And for a while, this is holding true, but we've started to see a couple of isolated incidences creep up in the last few years. Uh, just going down the line here with a couple of examples, we had the English dubs for High School DXD and Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Pardon any mispronunciations, I'm my Japanese is non-existent and I don't really watch that much anime. But these and other shows have had their English dub releases tweaked by SJW types. Going in and inserting things like Gamergate quips, jokes about Donald Trump, yada yada, bitching about the patriarchy, take your pick. And there was concern among some people that this was going to become a more widespread thing, as we would be seeing with Crunchyroll and the nonsense that they ended up starting with the High Guardian Spice show and the scam that was attached to that. But there were even pissed off game journos going ahead and trying to ban the release of certain games in the West. Uh, one of the Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball games actually would not be released in the West, partly because of outrage. The game was eventually released through PlayAsia.com, and then there was the incident with Steam, where people were bitching, whining, and complaining about the uh, you know light novel sexual content featured in games, and Steam blocked the sale of those games for a short period of time before they came to their senses and started putting the games back out. But now we seem to have another problem on our hands. Now, Sony, not too long ago, decided that they were going to go ahead and move the headquarters for PlayStation over to, unfortunately, California. It's always California. Now, this is bad news for a number of reasons. Regardless, just not even considering the fact that California is the breeding ground for this NPC nonsense, but that means that all of the games that are going to be released on PlayStation platforms have to be approved by the people working at the PlayStation headquarters in California. For those of you who don't see what I'm getting at here, that means that even games that are going to be released in Japan have to be held to the same fucking standards by these idiots in California. This is a fucking problem. If you are a PlayStation player, and this is why I am on the Xbox and why I am on PC, because it gives me many, many options. I've never really liked the PlayStation, and I don't really like how Sony has been acting in the last few years, especially given the Hillary Clinton of movies, Ghostbusters 2016. I figured that that would eventually fucking spread to the rest of their products, and unfortunately, Sony's a big enough fucking, uh, you know, monster of a corporation that they probably won't go away anytime soon. They still make a ton of money off of the movie production equipment that they make, the TVs they make, you know, all, all of that stuff. So, and <laughs> they're not in any fucking danger of getting woke or going and getting broke. But the censorship has already started to leak its way into a couple of games that are on the release. And I, again, am not even going to try to pronounce these names because I will fuck them up. But there is a light novel game that's coming out that, uh, unfortunately, has been hit hard by the censorship. And that's what you've been seeing in the video. They use this awkward fucking <laughs> lazy ass light to go ahead and try and censor the fucking games but in some instances it just looks like characters are getting completely fucking decapitated uh, so this is going to be something that's going to happen on the playstation from now on if you want to play these games on the playstation you're better off just buying a computer and playing them on pc because steam and other websites have decided that they're not going to go ahead and censor this content the problem is, is that this could spread to other games on PlayStation, not just games that are made from Japan. Uh, now that these games have all been, uh, you know, now that their headquarters has moved to America, even games like God of War will probably end up getting hit if they decide to start putting sexual content back in the game. When God of War first came out, uh, it got a lot of fire for featuring sexual content and even one or two little mini games based around, well, banging chicks. And... This could spread to other games like The Witcher, 
if they ever end to decide to go ahead and put out a Witcher 4 or if uh, the new Cyberpunk game ends up featuring the same level of sexual content that was featured in the Witcher series, on the PlayStation, that will inevitably be censored. But this gets even weirder because there's there, there's an appeal process in place for these games. And trust me, it gets even weirder than this. And the appeals processes have to be submitted in English. And for smaller Japanese studios that possibly don't have English speakers on staff, this will mean that they won't be able to get their appeal or they will have to go ahead and fork over money to get somebody who does speak English, some kind of translator or something, and make sure that the appeal goes through, making it harder for developers to put out games. And as we have seen with the identity politics crowd, they have this ever-shifting standard that keeps moving more and more and more towards a Puritan mentality. You never know what's going to happen with this, and there's no way of judging where these you know, standards of theirs are going to swing to next. Right now, it's entirely limited on sexual content, but for all we know, they'll get mad at violence in video games once again, like we saw during Gamergate, and they'll go ahead and start trying to censor that as well. So if you're on PlayStation, I highly advise you to get another platform. Now, where this gets even weirder is that some of the games that are being released on multiple uh, platforms that PlayStation is deciding to go ahead and censor are uncensored on the Nintendo side. That's right. Unfortunately, and strangely enough, Nintendo is less about censorship than Sony. Now, this isn't exactly the first time when Nintendo has kind of thrown censorship away. Right around the time when Resident Evil 4 released on the GameCube, Sony uh, started going ahead and remaking a lot of the Resident Evil games. Before then, they also had Resident Evil Zero and a remake of Resident Evil 1, which was oh, definitely worth the money. And they started po uh, porting all the other Resident Evil games onto the GameCube. They were selling very well, and Nintendo, for a while, started courting more mature content on their platform, but it never ve uh, really splashed over in into uh, adult and sexual themes. So if the market continues to, you know, try goes to favor these games that have suggestive content or adult content in any way, shape, or form, and people move to the Nintendo Switch, because let's be honest, it is a portable system that a lot of people are buying right now. It's actually selling pretty well, strangely enough. I know the Soy Boys definitely love the fuck out of that thing, but either way... Nintendo is becoming one of the bastions against censorship, apparently. And that's a very, very weird thing to think about, considering they've typically tried to aim towards family-friendly content for the last few years following the GameCube, uh, the closing the lines on the GameCube and opening up to the Wii and the Wii U and all the games that, uh, the systems that followed. Now, I do think that there is a chance that this censorship will end up inevitably swaying towards violent content, and you'll start to see less and less of that on the PlayStation. I do believe there is a good possibility of that happening, in which case I'm still not going to buy a fucking PlayStation, but I, again, will urge anyone playing the play, uh, on the PlayStation to get another platform. We have seen time and again, as I mentioned before, where SJWs get upset about the amount of violence in video games, one of the biggest times where they started screeching and crying and whining was the release of doom by bethesda and then doom eternal they flipped their shit about that one as well but then uh there was an interesting incident where donald trump came out after the parkland uh incident the shooting that happened at major douglas major stoneman douglas i can't remember the name of the school uh where donald trump wanted to start talking about if there was uh, you know finding a connection between violence in the real world and violence in video games and <laughs> Hilariously enough, the, uh, you know, Anita Sarkeesian crowd ended up switching the fucking record and saying that there's absolutely no connection towards violence in video games and violence in the real world, contradicting their own statements yet again. So hopefully if Donald Trump comes out and starts talking about violence in video games yet again, it might be able, it might be used to manipulate the uh, SJWs and the game journalists outlook on violence in video games, and then they won't try to go that route and censor violence in video games. I... But again, I really do think that's a possibility. But if... Uh, this is not looking good for Sony. Sony's had a lot of damn problems ever since Ghostbusters 2016. And I don't see them going away anytime soon. Especially now that their headquarters is based in fucking California. So, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. As always, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. A huge thanks to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. You guys help keep the lights on in here. And until next time, everyone, please remember to take it easy, have fun, 
and let's keep making entertainment great again. Also, this is why I like the Xbox. I don't get to deal with this shit there. <laughs>